So um, I thought I'd make a video on how to solder these mini grabber test hooks um, that are used for electronics, um, breadboard connections, etc. They're kind of tricky and um, they set me back for a while and uh, I ruined quite a few just trying to get that right. So I thought I'd share what I've discovered as far as how to put these things together. Um, this is not going to be a demo. It's just a little bit too difficult holding the camera and trying to do soldering and so forth. So I'm just going to walk through some photographs that I have that try to get the point across as what the critical aspects of this are. So the first thing is that when you go to strip your wire, only strip about three or four millimeters of the end of it. If you strip too much, what ends up happening is even after you make the uh, connection, uh, and you put the cap back on, you'll find stripped wire is uh, sticking out of the hole, and you don't want that. You want you want the stripped wire to be well buried inside this uh, this clip and not exposed um, outside of it. So do that three or four millimeters, and then tin the end of that wire. That'll be uh, part of the setup before you um, uh, start soldering in this this all together. So tin the end of that wire after you've stripped off three or four millimeters. Um, this is uh, another look at the angle. When you when you go to solder this together, you're going to want to have this kind of an angle between the wire and the, um, the copper actual clip right here. I'm showing that. Uh, there's that hole. I'm not threading through the hole because I'm using 16 gauge wire and it's just way too thick to be threaded through that hole. In addition, even if we, you were to use thinner wire, if you were to thread it through the hole and then try bending it over and then soldering that, you'd end up with just a too, too massive an amount of material inside to get the cap and everything to go back together cleanly. At least I don't think you're gonna, you're gonna be able to do that with any kind of thick wire. Um, even 18, 18 gauge might be a problem. Um, the other thing is that uh, when you've soldered it together, these two leads on the um, sides here need to go into these um, slots in the cap. If you notice that in this view, let me see if I can zoom in on that. The cap has, um, has these slots in the side that accept these tabs and it keeps everything aligned. Um, so, so that's important. We'll go back to my photographs now. So um, yeah, once you've come in at that angle, you've got a blob of solder over that whole area. Um, back to this. What I do is um, I fluck, put flux on that center area around the whole area. Um, that preps it for solder. And then I'll put a blob of solder on that central area, making sure that I've got it in my um, in my helping hands tool, you know, holding it with the grip with a downhill angle so that when I put the solder on around that, air, that area where the hole is, that it doesn't run up towards that end, but it actually can flow back down and just sit there and wait for, um, you know, attachment of the wire. Now, once you've got that blob of solder in there, then you bring the wire in. I use my um, my alligator clip holder, my helping hands holder, to set this up so that it's got the nice angle. Then just apply a little bit of pressure so that it, the two pieces go together while you're holding the soldering iron, heating it up, and make that joint happen. Um, once that happens, that sets you up for being able to put the cap on, and this angle is right to get uh, the wire to go through that hole. Uh, then line up those two tabs, make sure they go into that, those slots on the side, that's critical. And then push the cap in firmly all the way in. And then grab the wire and tug it firmly so that you get, what you're doing is you're pulling this copper piece up so that it goes, rides into those slots that are inside the side of this cap. And then uh, that, that should do it. That should get the whole thing to go together. And uh, in the end, it... Uh, ends up looking like this. So you'll see there's no exposed wire here because you didn't strip too much out and the cap is in place. Um, there's an there's the proper alignment and uh, it seems to work out just, just fine. Anyway, um, I hope this helps people out. 
Sorry, there's no demo. It's just a little bit too hard to do with soldering and all the rest while holding a camera. But I'm hoping that this these few tips will help people out. So thanks for watching.